Hi everyone in Skib and beyond. Um, my name is Deirdre Wadding. I'm down in Kilran in County Wexford, down in the sticks near the sea. And I'd like to share with you a poem written by Paula Meehan um, called In Memory Joanne Breen. Joanne Breen was a very close friend of mine who died uh, Bialtana Eve 18 years ago. So I'd like to share this with you now. I am fingering a length of yarn from the mill at Stornoway. It is green as a summer meadow, though when I untwine it wither shins, I see spun into the yarn fibres of blue and yellow and purple, occasionally orange. I am undoing the magic of the spindle, unravelling. She believed that together we were powerful as hawser that could moor the craft of the spirit in safe anchorage or tether for the wild horse of the imagination or binder of each to each into a force of nature. This was her work. This was her path. This was the fate she was born to bear. The day we buried her, the gorse was a golden flame. We buried the summer with her. We buried the high clouds of May, the swallows we buried, those stitchers of land to sea, those grafters of sky to the dark earth which opened to her beauty. We buried the song of her body and all it promised of betrothal and children and work. The way she would weave dolphin and salmon and swan in a tapestry out of the land itself. Its very warp and woof its stuff, its dye, its fixings, the land she trod so lightly on. I am fingering a length of yarn from the mill at Stornoway. Deep winter now, and the wind crying in the chimney. The candle gutters in a draught. The shadow sways on the wall and breath, breath snags on memory. Once upon a springtime, she is a girl in the branches of an old beech in the back field. She holds fast to the rope and out she jumps. The dog the clouds, the hedgerows, the rooftop, the hay barn, the cows, the stream, the starlings, the byre, the bees, the hill, the village, all spun together, dizzy and giddy, she laughs, swinging out into the arms of our love. And that's a very emotional reading for me because Joanne was such an amazing person and a great friend and a wonderful, wonderful artist, a tapestry weaver. And that poem really conveys who she was and what she meant to so many of us. So I'll share with you now two of my own and as a storyteller predominantly and uh, an Irish pagan priestess, my poetry largely kind of tends towards the mythical, mystical themes. And this is one called Greenwood Magic, which is really appropriate at the time of Bialtana. It echoes the sacred Greenwood marriage of the green man or the spirit of nature with the goddess or the priestess of the goddess of the land. And so by the time this is going out to you all, it's going to be June, I know, but uh, we're still in that post-Bialtana festival time, one of the great Irish and Celtic 
fire festivals. I see us in a wood, beneath great boughs of green. You come to me as warrior, I come to you as queen. Queen of the wood, queen of the night, queen of the open heart. Do you stand before me willingly? Do you pledge your sword? and heart. The whole wood waits, their voices stilled, to see what we will do. Will the ancient magic live again? It all depends on you. Lay down your weapons, your armour, your defence. Before you stands the Queen of Night. Great Mother's Priestess. Now I open up my robe to you, reveal to you my flesh. See the Lady's power now flow through her Priestess. I take you deep into myself, lose yourself in me. For in my heart lie many lands, and many a vast dark sea. Travel through these lands to me until you come to rest beneath the boughs of woodland green where I hold you to my breast. A leafy crown for your noble head I give to you my ring. For you have walked the sacred path, and now you are a king. And now the beings of the wood, they laugh, they dance, they sing. They know the magic lives again. The queen has found her king. And I'll finish now with... Uh, a poem with a, a song refrain, which is called Red Blooded Green Woman. And normally if I do this with a live group, I get everyone to do a big build up at the end, singing parts. And we won't really be able to do that here, but it's usually really good for raising the energy. And this kind of came after a period of devastation coming out of a horrible breakup from an abusive, a mentally abusive relationship where I was quite convinced I was never ever again going to uh, get involved in a relationship and a little glimmer began to appear and one day I had this phrase in my head just red-blooded green woman and uh, the man who is now my lovely partner for the last eight years we were in phone conversation and I said oh I have this title in my head and he went oh what about and suggest a couple of lines and I said no I thought something more like this and started and the whole thing came out complete there and then as a text on the phone and this was the result I am a red blooded green woman I cried so many tears there was nothing left to freeze and yet I feel a thaw set in as spring comes with the breeze through all the turnings of the year my seasons never changed. My heart, a castle made of ice. My grief was unassuaged. Come with me to the heart of the wood, into the mystery. I am a red-blooded green woman 
another quarter turn is done. I feel my strength returning. I dance alone among the trees. When will my flame start burning? For I have so much to give of energy and fire. And yet I know how much it cost that bright flame of desire. Come with me to the heart of the wood, into the mystery. I am a red-blooded green woman. No more I'll give my soul away, no more my heart to keep. But I am a red-blooded green woman, and I have woken from my sleep. So come with me to the heart of the wood. Come with me deep within. Come with me into the mystery, the delight of skin on skin. I am a red-blooded green woman. Ask no more of me. I am a red-blooded green woman. And I'll have to leave it there without all the drumming and you guys doing parts and building it up to a big crescendo. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you enjoyed these contributions.